you have uh, watched the modules on the syllabus of your flamingo stories as well as your poems and in this module we'll discuss about the uh, basic intros about your writers of the stories we have discussed and the further modules will be discussing the poets also and, uh, as it is well said that uh, uh, as comparison to the reading when we watch and listen something it leaves a deep impact in the mind do you uh, trust this thing moreover uh, if i talk about myself i believe when i watch and more than that when watching although watching is a very good impact and uh, even more than watching what impacts some uh, some people's mind is listening when you listen something it really leaves an impact on your mind and you remember the thing right that's why these modules are designed for your feasible learning listen it uh, again and again just go throughout the books also have a look do reading but apart from that just listen also and during the examination for your own uh, preparation just listen the modules and watch it again and again so that the things will get clear to you so now let us see uh, the writer about the writer alfonso daudet who has written your uh, story the last lesson which is included in your in your uh, flamingo so alfonso daudet he was a french novelist and he was a short story writer and the last lesson which he set it was set in the days of the franco prussian war which was which was led during the 1870 to 71 in which france was defeated by prussia led by bismarck prussia then consisted of what now are the nations of germany that is poland and parts of austria in this story the french districts of alsace and lorraine have passed into prussian hands so nextly the story is already uh, clear to you and uh, we have discussed in the modules also that you can watch and yeah once one more one more thing uh, in just to check the description box you have the uh, link for the playlist okay just click it you will get the further connected modules regarding the english uh, curriculum so now the second is anis young who wrote uh, lost spring you might be remembering lost spring stories of stolen childhood including in your fam flamingo so anis young was born in rurkela and spent her childhood and adolescence in hyderabad so she uh, was born and uh, she was uh, reared in india only she received her education in hyderabad and in the U united states of america her parents were both writers her parents were both writers Anis Young began her career as a writer in India and she has been an editor and columnist for major newspapers in India and abroad as well and she has authored many books and this is story lost spring it was an excerpt from her book titled lost spring stories of stolen childhood in which she analyzed the grinding poverty and traditions which condemned these children to a life of exploitation right Now our next author, or we can say writer, is William Douglas, who wrote a deep water of your uh, uh, curriculum, and uh, his life began in 1898 and it finished in 1980. He was born in Maine, Minnesota, Maine. After graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in English and Economics, he spent two years teaching high school in Yakima. However, he got tired of this and decided to pursue a legal career. Then he met Franklin D Roosevelt at Yale and became an advisor and a friend to the president. Douglas was a leading advocate of individual rights and he retired in 1975 with a term lasting 36 years and remains the longest serving justice in the history of the court. And uh, this is the excerpt taken from from the Of Man and Mountains by William O Douglas. This is the excerpt taken from uh, and titled is Of Men and Mountains by William O. Douglas. It reveals how as a young boy William Douglas nearly drowned in a swimming pool and in this essay he talks about his fear of water and therefore how he finally overcame it. All right. The next author is Selma Lagerlöf who wrote The Rat Trap and uh, she was a Swedish writer whose stories have been translated into many languages a universal theme 
runs through all of them a belief that the essential goodness in a human being can be awakened through understanding and love and this story is set amidst the mines of sweden rich in iron ore which figure large in the history and legends of that country okay so our next author for uh, your next story it was louis fisher who wrote indigo 1896 1917 he was born in philadelphia and he served as a volunteer in british army between 1918 and 1920 fisher made a career as a journalist and wrote for the new york times the saturday review and for european and asian publications he was also a member of the faculty at princeton university and the chapter indigo it is an excerpt from his book the life of mahatma gandhi okay now let us see our next author our next writer that is asikamitran 1931 he is a tamil writer and he recounts his years at chamini studios in his book my years with boss which talks of the influence of movies on every aspect of life in india the chamini studios located in chennai was set up in 1940 it was one of the most influential film producing organizations of india in early days of indian film making and its founder was s s versan the duty of asukamitron in jamini studios was to cut out newspaper clippings on a wide variety of subjects and store them in files okay many of these had to be written out by hand although he performed an insignificant function he was the most well informed of all the members of jamini family and uh, the story poets and pancakes it is an excerpt from his book my years with boss okay now let us see our next author who wrote your story the interview it is christopher silvestrus 1959 christopher silvestrus was a student of history at peter house cambridge he was a reporter for private eye for 10 years and has written features for vanity fair and uh, this is story uh, can i say the uh, chapter the interview this is an excerpt taken from his introduction to the penguin book of interviews an anthology from 1859 to the present day and the last story is author that is a r barton so just have a look about him also life span is 1913 to 1943 and, uh, lives in zurich and writes in english and in the story uh, going places barton explores the theme of adolescent fantasizing and hero worship all right so uh, this is enough for now i know and uh, the next module you will come to know about the important poets and the important uh, basic information about them so keep on listening keep on learning enjoy learning and uh, feel free do not get uh, puzzled about the books okay if you keep on watching i think you will not need you know even the books also so keep watching keep listening and uh, for any of the query and any of the question drop the message on the comment box also share with your friends take care subscribe goodbye